Welcome back, this is Raj. Last time Raphael Raven revealed the realistic return reclusion reside, and now we are ziplining James Bond style into our desired habitat. So that's not a desired habitat, that is a cave full of lava. And, uh, well, it's also a cave full of lava and apparently stanky farts. Just look at that ceiling. Jesus. That, that is some piranha, piranha cast, I guess. I got identified as Mark. What the? I didn't even think piranhas could talk. They don't have eyes or noses, just chompers. They never say anything ever. In this Colorado, he's like, hmm, I sense danger here. All adventures are dangerous, though. So what of it? We must press onward to the glory of an unknown treasure. So he's gonna try to jump, and apparently he is sinking, and he gets hit by lava, and he takes one HP of damage. So he's jumping around like, yeah! What's wrong with this rock? It sank right into the lava. Basically, that's part of the gimmick that some rocks will sink, some will not, such as this one, and some will move, like that one. That one that moves, you are a moving rock. Yes, you are. You, you move. You move quite slowly. And new enemy, woo! Uh, Kumbari, I don't know what happened to you, but you're gonna help be helping me right now, so... Tattle! Tattle on them, I say! This is Lava Bubble, a fireball monster. Lava Bubbles live near Lava. And you nine take before if it's about zero. They are obviously pretty hot, so they get hurt if you try to jump on them. They sometimes attack your friends, like me, too. The power of that attack is too. Because of their fiery nature, they sense fear snow and water. I bet that ice power badge I had would come in quite handy right now. But, uh, right now, uh, I can't really do a whole lot. I can use a snowman doll, but I'm not. But what I can do is Star Storm! And, uh, get that out of the way. Because, uh, oh, well, the emulator didn't lag when I did the little price symbol. Okay, uh... So Starstorm going down, put him at 2 and 2, and, uh, I can get Sushi out, and then I can... Oh. Never mind. That Podoboo is a dick. And yes, they're not Podoboos, but I like to call them Podoboos, because they Podo, and they boo. No, they don't boo. We already covered the chapter with boos. They booed. They booed the boss into becoming a psychopathal maniac, even though psychopathal isn't even a word. But either way... He had an eating disorder, and he ate all the booze. Such is the life of Tubba Lubba. I don't even know what I'm saying, so let's keep going on to the right, and those things are going to be sinking, and we got to dodge them, and we didn't dodge them, we ran on top of them. And zip lines. Hell yeah. So we'll ride this one again, and there's a power block apparently, and I can get it with Cooper. So, oh, god, emulator, 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 I am talking to you. Okay, I had to go into a different area, but before we do that, again, emulator, let's do this right. Let's do it right. Pow block. Oh god, emulator. Got the pow block. Never mind, oh, everything's cool. And I struck that thing. Damn, he's good. Uh. Pow block! Oh. Flip him over since I can't do it jumping style, and I'll just do this the easy way and tattle on the one next to the left, because, uh. I just sort of had to use that and get that out of the way, because the power block, I don't know what I was going to have to do with it, because I can't get it, cook it, and it's only going to have to be used one time, so I'm going to have to use it right now, but never, and if we also fight the next enemy next time, we're going to get more BPs, because we're going to level up. And I got hit by first strike, because I am Penis Face McGee. So, uh, just looking at that, uh, we're going to pull out a Goombario real quick, and he's going to do his shiz. Just be like tattling up on that spike top. So it's going to be like, this is a spike top. Spike top says spikes on top. Uh -huh. Maybe four attack for free defense power. Oh wow, damn four. Uh, they're tough, just like blitzy beetles, and fire attacks don't affect them at all. But their defense power drops if you can flip them over. So uh, basically, I have to star storm to. Oh god, he just knocked out Kumbaria. Uh, the uh, snowman doll activate. Form of a snowman. That should uh, tear some shit up. So, with four auto damage, that should kill it. And six over there, which is even better. But, that just means I can kill it this turn. So, with that simple battle and this hammer about to be dropped on this enemy with the power of four, we have got enough e EX power to level up. So, that's good for us, I'm willing to say. So, get some of them magical BPs and, uh,. I don't even know how we're gonna damage those spike tops without Star Storm. Oh god, emulator, stop doing that. And stop it! Stop it, you're not cool. Don't do that. You're lame. You are a lame homosexual. So, uh, 
I'm going to put on those BPs in a moment, but first I wanted to see what's over here, because when you put on the BP, you have to go to the start menu. For some reason, the start menu on this emulator takes forever to load up and dodge the fire or not. And, oh cool, now we get our first U-ranked person. So here we're going to upgrade, we're going to upgrade Sushi, why? Because uh, even though Goombar is infinitely more useful, Sushi is going to be useful in this chapter. Specifically for the u rank ability that she earns, which is called Tidal Wave. And it attacks enemies all along the screen with water. And for the final boss, that's pretty much the only time that move is actually going to be useful for me, specifically. So, I like to, I like to get it. So with this top half done, let's go down over here to this bottom half, and we're going to see there is, uh, we get the Ultra Hammer. Whoa, I like shook. Look at that. Alright, it's dancing. Jiggly, jiggly, jiggly path! And I'm gonna slide on down here, but jump! And we get the Fire Shield Badge. With all those badges in hand, we are now badgeified enough to equip some. So, uh... I'm not gonna... Uh, let's see, I got three. And I definitely need ice power for now. And... Because that will come in handy, like always. Uh, Last Stand, Mega Rush, Power Rush, all those I want. We're gonna have to get them later. Deep Focus I don't need. Uh, I think for this we can use a... I think a good old... Uh, I think Power Smash would be good enough. Power Smash should let me do the damage I need to do without having to go excessively and more stanky farts lining the ceiling. Seriously. Like, they need to fix that. That is a health hazard. So now we have to go over here and to get across the lava we need the magical paracarry even though he's not magical. In fact, he's quite normal. He's paracarry. So he delivers letters. And with one block in, this puzzle's rather rather ravel. Ravel. It's ravel. Ravel simple. And with the blocks, we're somehow going to block off the lava, even though normally lava would just run over on top of them if you put them in the way, I'm guessing. So it just, instead of stopping it off, it just... Oh, it just makes it less. It flows at the bottom. I guess we can say that makes sense. Science rage! So, uh... I'm gonna fly on over here. Gotta fly now. And, uh... More blocks. Just gonna push one in. And apparently this is where we get the Ultra Hammer. You can see in the background there's a giant, uh, I didn't want to spoil it for you guys, but I think it may have been a wee bit obvious, I mean, just saying, because, like, that giant chest area where you can only get out via Ultra Hammer, just, uh, I'm, I'm willing to put two and two together for you guys. I, I think we can, I think we can accomplish that feat. So, uh, first off I'm gonna get Gumbario, because I know one of these has a funky, there we go. There's a funk. Our Magic Koopa. This is a red Magic Koopa. He's one of the magicians in the Koopa clan. KKK, nigga, except this one is red, so I don't know if that makes him. He's a he's a crip. No, he's a blood. What am I? Am I a retarded? Of course he's a blood. Blood's a red. Blood is red. Yeah. So he ups the attack power of others, apparently. So get hyped, son. And, uh... I think we can, uh, just, uh... I'm gonna... No, we don't need a stone cap. Who am I kidding? Stone capping is for people who do not know how to do normal activities. So, we're gonna first kick it off with a little Star Storm up in this, uh, biznitch. Pretty simple. I hope that our thing will up and tower her so we, like, see what he does. Cause that'd be pretty cool to see. So, four damage. Two damage. And... Magical power-upping skills. Plus one. I don't want that. So you know what I'm going to do? POWER SMASH! Even though it's entirely unnecessary! With power wise power, that makes eight! Ugh. And with that Ultra Hammer, that will make 10, so that's pretty cool. Because that's basic addition for you guys. Uh, nothing's gonna up the power of the next one. Okay, stop that, that's getting really annoying. Uh, gonna jump. With the power of Ice Power, we can jump on fire! So, I'm probably gonna have to take that off after this chapter, but either way, for now, it is going to be useful, and after that, it will not be useful at all. With that Magic Koopa down, that puts us at 8 star points. That gave us 4? Holy shit sticks. So, uh... Now we get the chance to do what I wanted to do, and show off our brand new sushi on this other fireball. Because, you know, we gotta see that new tidal wave. Because I think tidal waves are pretty beast. They... They, uh... They doesn't afraid of anything. Ha B, A, and C down. Oh crap, gotta figure out where C down is. Okay, I got it. A, B, C down. A, B, C down. A, Jesus! 
And, whoa, pause. Oh, I love these high-res graphics right here. Uh, 886, uh, that's pretty good. And I can finish off with a Star Storm, so Star Storm. Let's see how long you take. After praying, we're at 400. It takes, uh, it's been about, uh, I don't know, about 5 seconds already. And with that, it makes it about 7 until you start actually seeing damage from when you pray, so that's a pretty long attack. Pretty long, I have to say. Long, 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 long. Long, shlong, dong, wong. All those mean penis, except for wong. I think wang is more appropriate in this context. So we're gonna have to get over here to this little thing. It's a giant treasure chest with the power of the Ultra Hammer! I got the Ultra Hammer! And now we can destroy metal blocks, but I thought the last ones were metal. I guess they were stone. So now, uh, with that out of the way, we can, uh, we can do a lot more things. And sushi, swim! You're a terrible swimmer, Sushi. Why don't you swim in lava? Why can't you be a lava fish or a lava goldeen? I don't know. Goldeen! Magic Corp! Magic Corp! And, uh, get Para Carry. Gonna carry me over the fire because he's Para and he's Carry. He does both of those. Ultra Block bashes that block. And now we're gonna have to go over here. Para Carry. Carry me across the lava with your Para and Carry skills. And I just timed that to line up on the ridge, hop up on this treasure chest over here, and we shall see that inside it is a dizzy stomp badge. It looks like a silver boot. Apparently we give the enemies the boot and then chickens run around their head. Or chicks, or tiny little baby chickens, because if you say chicks run around their heads, I think that means something entirely from just I think that means aroused, last time I checked. So let's keep on going with the stanky fart room. Jesus. Somebody needs to open a window in this cave, even the caves don't have windows or openings. So we're going to test out this new Ultra Hammer on this white top. And I finally got the first strike, and we're going to do no damage because it's baseline. Power smash! Power of the power smash! Go on the spike top! <sighs> and so they killed it in one move, basing with damage calculations, that's 8 damage, and against the... Uh, Against the lava bubble, that would probably kill it too because of ice power. So we got six more damage on that thing, and I can probably kill the spike top and the other enemies because uh, with the power of our new badges, we can do just about anything. So this is a rather simple fight. I don't know why I keep showing you every single fight I do, but that's because normally I'm trying to show off a couple of new things each time I do it. So we're going to keep on finishing this fight right here. Eric Harry, you are a shark shooter. So with that, we have 24 and we're already a fourth of the way to a next level because I keep having to show you every single battle that I do. An emulator breakdown, Jesus, what's going on? Uh, did I pick up an item? I don't know. I'm gonna jump left, 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 left. Show, show me the money! So now we, now that we can see, open your, we opened our eyes and uh, we power up here, we see Colorado just standing there and we're like, yes, excellent! Now Mario, no time to hang about, onward to glory! So. I'm gonna run in here and we see a zip line. Apparently it's Star Piece too, and he's gonna be exclamation mark. Hmm, it smells like treasure! Treasure, old boy! I'm gonna make way! I'm going ahead! So, that's a terrible, terrible, terrible British accent, because half the time I'm just speaking all like, yeah! It is comical trying to return to Lance and Man, even though, again, not a phrase. And gonna jump right here. Why? Because we know there is a block down here. And we are, with this, we are going to upgrade Gumbario into absolutely fucking broken status. With this now, Gumbario will be like... Like, Gumbario was already, like, tanking up off bosses and stuff, and now he's gonna be like... He can do it in, like, half the time and stuff. Okay, right here. And we got a star page. So, I'll show off Gumbario later, because, uh... I've been fighting too many battles. I'll save it for the next video, because I can. Unless I get into a fight, and then I'm just gonna do it anyway. Because we, we only got a little bit more than a minute left, and I don't really want to waste a whole bunch more time, and we're gonna have to go down to this thing in the Lava Cave Exploration Man's guy, and we're gonna see another stinky fart room, and we see it's a giant spike ball. I'm, I'm just out walking it, because I can. And it's gaining, gaining, and gain no more. And, uh... I want to put it uh, at a solid stopping point, so uh, at this little center platform, I'm probably just going to have to call it quits. So, I'll see every single one of you next time.